Now, in the current tough economic times, some South Africans are considering selling their property. However, they are not getting the price they want. And for more on this, we speak now to Sipamandla Mkwanazi, a senior economist at FNB. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. What is the current situation in the property market? Is it a buyer's market? But does that necessarily mean that there are more people buying as interest rates remain high along with other prices? Good morning um, and good morning to your listeners, Melissa. Uh, very interesting question um, and you find different answers um, depending on who you speak to. But generally what we look at when we assess the strength of the market is to look at where demand is versus where supply is. Now, but depending on the segment that you are in um, in South Africa at the moment, um, we basically look at it from an, affordable, from an affordability perspective. So there's an affordable market which we broadly um, defined as properties between um, properties that are valued below 750,000 um, rands and anything above that, we call it the traditional market. And what you'll find is that in the traditional market where many people actually play, um, there you find a very strong buyer's market, meaning that sell buyers have um, have, um, have have that lot to, to choose which properties they want um, they want to buy. Whereas in the lower end of the market, there is that inherent shortage of supply, which means that um, even though there are fewer buyers, um, the supply is actually not um, not as great, and therefore sellers in that segment of the market are able to get a as close as possible to their asking price mm. and it's the opposite in the traditional market where sellers mm. um, are far away from their initial asking price at the moment. Now, now, there was a comment made by a real estate and property brand that sellers have to be realistic about their asking price. And I know you've explained now there's two different brackets, um, but this could also then possibly mean for some of them asking less than what you paid for. And that can't be easy for any owner of a property to, to have to ask less than what you maybe paid for a few years ago. What is also interesting is that, in fact, the, the, the quantum of the discount at the moment is estimated at around um, 10%. That hasn't changed much, right? That's just the quantum of a discount on a listed property. But what we have seen is that more and more sellers actually have to offer this discount to, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to facilitate a property. Um, our survey, our estate um, agent survey shows that somewhere around um, in the second half of, of, of 2021, um, when the market was booming, um, we were benefiting from low interest rate and there was pent up demand following the lockdown, the lifting of lockdown restrictions, we saw um, around about 60%, 66% of sellers having to reduce their price to, um, you know, to, to facilitate a sale. Now that has um, increased to about 85%. So um, although the quantum of the discount hasn't, um, it hasn't increased, but the number of sellers that have had to offer a, a, a discount has increased uh, quite significantly. And that mm -hmm. tells you about the strength um, of the market at the moment. And it's not a very easy situation, especially in the highest end of the market. Mm. Just the last one, Sipamanda. Let's talk about interest rates. The MPC is only meeting again next month. But what is your expectation now? There is some talk about another 25 basis point hike. The risk of a, a 25 bips um, increase is there. It is significant. It has increased over the last um, couple of weeks with the intensifying geopolitical um, um, risks uh, and their and their consequent impact on and their and their consequence on on, on fuel prices. The the, the, the fears around um, avian flu and their potential consequent on um, on food prices and that we think is going to um, you know I mean, sustain that upward pressure on um, on inflation so depending on what the fed does uh, they, they definitely is a possibility of another 25 bits um, increase however that is not our base case up at the moment we are still on the camp of a continued decline in inflation, although it will be volatile in the next couple of months to reflect the, 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 the uncertainties and the risks that I've just outlined. And, and um, interestingly, when you speak to estate agents, there is this optimism amongst them that, that potentially have seen the peak um, of interest rates. And you will see with the levels of sentiment in, 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 in the industry at the moment, yes, quite low but better than in the previous month because now there is this um, optimism, um, although the last couple of days um, have you know, um, you know, uh, put some water um, on, on, on those expectations. But our, our, our base case is that potentially have picked, although the, either the risk of another 25 bips um, is increasing. Thank you so much for your time this morning. That was Sipamandla Mkwanazi, a senior economist at FNB.